particular question, we're asked to solve uh, 12 sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 6. Uh, this is a trinomial uh, in sine theta. It's not a simple trinomial because of the 12. So we're looking for two numbers that add to 1. And they're going to multiply, in this case, to 12 times negative 6, which is negative 72. The numbers that work are positive 9 and negative 8. So we break down the middle term into we got 12 sine squared theta uh, plus 9 sine theta. minus 8 sine theta, minus 6 equals 0. Like decomposition, we group the first two. We group the last two. But once again, because of this preceding minus, we need to change this to a plus. Common factor each of the groups. For the first group, 3 sine theta is common. That's going to leave you with 4 sine theta plus 3. And the other one, you're going to be able to take out a 2. And once again, that leaves you with 4 sine theta plus 3 equals 0. And as you can see, the 4 sine theta plus 3 is common, so bring that out in front. And that leaves 3 sine theta minus 2 left over. When you set each of these equal to 0, 4 sine theta plus 3 equals 0, you get 4 sine theta equal to negative 3, which means that sine theta equals negative 3 over 4. From the other one, you get 3 sine theta minus 2 equals 0, which gives you 3 sine theta equals 2, or sine theta equals 2 thirds. Uh, so you figure out where sine theta is equal to negative 3 over 4. That's going to be in these bottom two quadrants. Uh, so you're going to do the inverse sine of uh, negative 3 over 4. You're going to do the same thing over here. Sine is going to be equal to 2 thirds, so you're going to have an answer up here, and you're going to have an answer up here. And you get uh, this particular one. Uh, the calculator gives you theta equal to negative uh, 0.848 which is equivalent to that particular angle right there. But to get it into the interval we want, which is 0 to 2 pi, we need to add 2 pi onto it. So when we do that, plus 2 pi, we get uh, 5.435, 
radiance, which of course is that particular angle because this right here is 4.71 and this is 6.28. Uh, the other angle over here, you could simply uh, take the 0.848 and add it on to pi. So the other one is theta equals uh, pi plus 0 0.848. Uh, which is going to be uh, 3.99 approximately. Second part of this, uh, we get theta is equal to the inverse sine of 2 over 3, which gives us uh, 0 0.729. So that would be uh, that particular angle right there, first quadrant. Uh, the other one is basically this, which is going to be uh, pi minus 0 0.729. which is equal to 2.41 radians. So your, your answers are 0 0.729, 2 2.41, 3.99, and 5.44 approximately. Example three here, we have some reciprocal trig functions. Um, one of the things you might have noticed in the first two examples is it's important, if you can, to get everything in terms of a single trig ratio, sine, cos, tan, etc. But in this case right here, uh, cotangent is equal to 1 over tan, so we can write the first thing as 2 over tan x plus now back on page 416 we said that secant squared is equal to 1 plus tan squared x and that's going to be equal to 0. If we want to get rid of the fractions we can multiply through everything by tan x it's going to change our equation to 2 plus tan x plus tan cubed x. Now normally we write an equation with uh, highest power first, so we'll switch this around. So tan cubed x plus tan x plus 2 equals 0. Uh, next thing, probably going back to chapter 3 and 4 when we did the uh, factor theorem, I'm going to make a substitution here. I'm going to let u equal uh, tan x. And so I'm going to rewrite this line. It's u cubed plus u plus 2 equals 0. And if you remember, we try to find the first factor. We look for the factors of 2. Uh, so because this is plus, we got to get this negative. So if u equals negative 1, we get negative 1 cubed uh, plus negative 1 plus 2 and of course that is equal to 0. So that meant that u plus 1 is a factor. Uh, 
Uh, if we wanted to find the other factor, we could do uh, synthetic division. So we're going to put uh, negative 1 out front, and then 1 for the 1u cubed. We're missing the u squared, so it's going to be 0. And then it's 1 for the 1u, and then it's going to be 2. And bring down the 1, negative 1 times 1. is negative 1, uh, 0 times 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1, uh, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, adding these you get 2, uh, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, and there's the all-important uh, 0 which is the remainder. Uh, this means the other factor is, uh, this is your constant, this is your linear term, and this is your quadratic term. So it's going to be u squared minus u plus 2. So remembering that uh, we replace tan with u, we should put uh, basically uh, everything back in terms of tan. So going back to our equation, uh, this thing factored right here is going to be, rather than uh, u plus 1, it's going to be the tan of x plus 1. And the other bracket is going to be coming from over here, which is going to be tan squared x. Uh, minus tan x. Uh, plus 2. And that's equal to 0. Now, if you try to set the second bracket equal to zero, uh, you will see that there are no solutions. Uh, the discriminant uh, will actually end up being a negative. So we end up with just the tan of x plus one equals zero, which means the tan of x equals negative one. And of course that is in uh, basically this quadrant and then this one down here. So this one right here is 3 pi over 4 and then this one all the way around so we got 3 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4.